Hey crew, what's up? I'm GKB, and today on Gamers Knows Best, we have another great episode about my journey to 100k gamer score. This week was Indies, Indies, Indies. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright everyone, I've had a bit of a busy week uh, this week. With the new show, The Console Corner, we've been working on a new logo and topics for the future shows. We've also been reaching out to the gaming community for guests. Um, as just a reminder, the console corner uh, will be Tuesday night this week at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, due to some scheduling issues. Thanks to everyone for understanding and being flexible with the changes. Now, as everyone knows who's following the series, I'm 100% uh, transparent in my journey to 100k gamer score. And to be honest, this week... I didn't even get to start gaming until like Thursday night, so I was sweating bullets on if I was going to make the goal this week. This week I'm trying something different as uh, I don't want the series to get stale. I'm recording live in a sense, kind of on the fly. This will also give everyone a look at the achievements instead of me just talking a bunch of numbers at the end. Alright, so first up we have level 22, a stealth platformer. This game is a lot of fun and has some funny character art. Now the premise behind this game is you play Gary, who was all out all night celebrating his birthday, woke up late for work, and this is his last chance or he'll be fired. So he has to make it through all the levels without being detected so he does not lose his job. He has a friend who helps him by telephone to get him through each level of the office building. Now there are collectibles in the game, each level has one statue and a safe to collect. Alright, let's go ahead and walk around a little bit. Now here's your um, your friend here. So he's kind of the friend that's going to be helping you out getting through everything here. So let's go up here a little bit. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of this game so you can kind of check it out. That's kind of like a, a tap uh, top-down um, Diablo-esque, if you will, um, game. Yeah, we got another call. So I want to show you when you get close to these bad guys. You know they have like this conal alert thing. You can get into it for like a couple of seconds, but if you stay in there long enough, you're gonna go ahead and get noticed, and you pretty much die. Is how it works. So let's go ahead and get past here. Now, each of the enemies are on kind of like a pre-described, pre you know, path, and they do certain things. So it's kind of easy to, to figure out the puzzles. Some of them get a little crazy. Um, you have to do a lot of things, but, you know, it's a lot of fun. So we got ahead and went past that guy. Um, see, in the, the corner over there is one of the the safes that you can open up. Here's the access card for the door. Now, there are guides for this game, and you can use those if you want, but if you want to find all the combination for the saves, they're throughout the level. Uh, you just got to go ahead and look for them. So we've seen the safe. Now here is one of the other collectibles. And they're kind of funny, they're, you know, reminiscent of actual, like, real characters, like that was kind of like Batman, but it's called, you know, something else, so, it's kind of like little spoofs, which is pretty cool. Yeah. See, there you go, you know, I got seen by that guy, and then, you know, it's game over. And then you have to restart. So yeah, it's pretty much like this on every level throughout uh, level 22. There are boss fights at certain points throughout the game, um, which are kind of fun and interesting, and they kind of change up the gameplay, so those are a lot of fun. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next game. Alright, next up we have 6180 The Moon. This is a puzzle platformer that does some really neat stuff with gravity. 
the premise for this game is you play as the moon on your search for the sun and on your journey you speak to other planets trying to find the whereabouts of the sun the graphics in this game will not win any awards but what it lacks in graphical prowess it makes up for great puzzle and level design all right let's go ahead and get into one of these boards here um, you start off on the moon, like the moon levels, and then you progress through other planets. So here you can see how um, the gravity kind of works. Um, and here are these little round you know, circles going around. That's the end of the board, so you have to get into um, that to move on to the next board. Um, the other interesting thing to know is that um, half of the gamer score is playing through uh, the normal way, and then you have to come back through the game in reverse um, to get the second half of the gamer score. So that's like, a, you know, it splits it up a thousand points, um, five hundred for the first, and then five hundred for going in reverse. Crinkle Crusher is our final game of this week. The game is your standard castle defense game. You play as a magical hand and you control the power of elemental rings to stop the crinkles from destroying your castle. What's cool and makes the gameplay have more depth is the rings are upgradable and planets pass by in the background taking some of your power away for a short time. Um, this is really critical as resource management is a must in this game later on. Now I haven't beat this game all the way through so I'll have to come back and revisit this game at some point. Alright, let's get into one of these levels and show you guys uh, how it works. Alright, so here's the hand. Here comes the crinkles. And then you see the planets going by, so that takes away my wind power. Uh, but you still have fire. And then you have lightning. And we got some helmet guys. They're pretty tough. Um, now the blue planet's going by, so we lost our ice power. So, yeah, we're losing all our powers here. So, show you guys some more stuff before we die. Castle's almost gone. This game is pretty fun, I have to say, you know, for your standard um, castle defense game. So yeah, that's uh, Crinkle Crusher. Alright, before we get into the achievements, I want to give a big shout out to Randall Thor. I'm sure you probably all know who he is, but he's been on the Shop Podcast and he's on TRX. Uh, but if you didn't know, he's also a Twitch streamer. Um, what he does is he gets a whole bunch of indie games and all kinds of games. He plays them. He answers questions. And what's really cool is, you know, he gets a lot of codes for these games. So he does giveaways the whole time he's streaming. Um, so you're able to, you know, get some of these games sometimes. Uh, Desert She-Wolf actually won Crinkle Crusher that we're actually playing this week. Um, so I just wanted to give a big shout out to Rand. Yeah, he's a good guy. So go ahead and check him out on his Twitch streams. All right, let's get down to the nitty-gritty this week and check out the scores. So we talked about level 22. Um, so let's go ahead and get into there. Um, as you can see, I got 1,000 out of 1,000 for this one. There was 23 achievements. Um, total time I played it was 6 hours and 9 minutes. And I'm kind of flip through some of these achievements for you guys you know they're not bad like a lot of them are 30 you know some of them are 80 so that's pretty cool <laughs> alright next uh, we talked about was the moon and this one I also got a thousand out of a thousand and um, I got a lot of bronze here 
Um, I played it for three hours, 18 minutes. Um, I had 489 deaths. That's just crazy. Um, did 1,026 jumps. So, yeah, let's go ahead and... I kind of like the uh, the achievement pictures for this game. It's kind of like phases of the moon and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And then let's go ahead and check the last game we talked about. And that is Crinkle Crusher. <clears throat> um, this one only got 350 points. Like I said, I didn't get to really play through a lot of it. I only played three hours of it. Um, like, I don't want to go over, you know, I have a, a set time of, you know, it's about six days or so to get the score I need. So I don't want to go over that because, you know, that's kind of cheating and I don't want to do that. So I want to make sure whatever I get in that time is what I get in that time. So, um, I got 73 total stars. Um, stars are... The each level you can get up to three stars. It's kind of like you know, beating the level perfectly, uh, I guess. So you know, that's how many uh, crushed crink crinkles we have. That's such a hard thing to say. All right, let's go over some of these achievements here. Uh, as you can see, I don't have a whole lot of them. There really isn't that many for this one, so. All right, so if we add these up here, we have 2350 for the week. So we definitely killed the uh, the goal of uh, 1271 for the week, So, uh, which is good. Like I said, we're trying to get to E3 this year, so I want to kind of get a little bit ahead. So if we're gone that week, um, you know, we can still meet our goal or exceed it uh, with the extra that we have. Um, and my gamer score right now currently is 42,013. Um, as you can see, I have Rand on there. I have Mike Ibarra. So I'm always like third. I was trying to catch Mike Ibarra this week because, uh, he was kind of gone and wasn't going to be able to play many games, but I just couldn't pull it out, so... Well, that's it. That's this week's Road to 100K Gamer Score. This is GKB. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a nuke on that like button. If you thought it was a steamy pile of crap, well, you know what to do. We really appreciate all your support, and as always, thanks for watching.